Hello resin lovers, uh, another surfboard for us to have a look at today. Uh, this time it's one that went under the radar a little bit when it first came in um, earlier in the year, but now uh, we've been and surfed it and it's actually amazing. It's the Libtec Terrapin. Yep, terrible name for a surfboard, I totally agree with you on that front, um, but it's actually a really, really nice board to surf. It's a mid-lengthy glidery type single fin, developed by Alex Lopez, um, who learned his trade under the tutelage of his father, a famous uh, shaping uh, dynasty in the States. And this board that he's come up with does so many things so well. Lots of mid-lengths paddle well, but are a bit stiff. Some are quite turny and manoeuvrable, but have a little bit too much rocker and get you, don't get you in quite as early as you'd like. But the Terrapin, so far after a few surfs, has ticked all the boxes. Um, so shape-wise, <laughs> it's got this thing called a modern classic wide point, where all that really means is that the wide point shifted a little bit further forward and the tail is a bit more pulled in. So what that means is that um, you've got all this float up front, this great big flat section up here, which gives you lots of paddle power, it means you catch waves relatively easily, getting nice and early, but then the pulled in kind of rear end of the board makes it much easier to turn, especially with a single fin with a tapered out point it doesn't then get too tracky, it turns really nicely. And there are some great videos um, which we'll be putting with the board online that show you how it surfs. It's, it actually turns much tighter than you'd think for a board like this. The rails are quite pared down. You can see the deck is kind of domed, so all that volume is kind of smuggled in the middle of the board, it's hidden away. And then the pared down rails, again, make it feel lively and, uh, and more manoeuvrable than you'd think by looking at it first time. Like I said, when it first arrived here, it kind of passed us by a little bit, but it's like a hidden gem. Um, and now we've had a surf on it, uh, where it's been enthused, and we've said a few more people have bought the board, and the feedback has been exceptional. So, you know, happy days. So, it only comes in one length, 7.4 by 21 and a quarter by just over two and a half. It's about 50 litres. So, it's very usable in anything from kind of knee high to overhead. In the small waves, that flat planing surface generates speed really quickly and gives you that glide. And in big waves, the length, especially the length, gives you the paddle speed you need to deal with those faster moving bigger waves. So it's a really well put together package. And crikey, we haven't even mentioned the construction yet. I'm sure you know about LibTech construction by now, um, the Eco Impact stuff, the most environmentally friendly production in surfboard wise there is. Obviously it's not perfect, but these guys are working super hard with their resins and everything else to make sure that the impact of what they're doing is as limited as, as humanly possible. And they're doing a really good job because these boards surf well, they look great, <coughs> and they last forever. They're super tough as well. Very popular in wave pools um, around the world nowadays as well because inevitably you're gonna hit something or someone and the boards stand up to that kind of damage um, impacts rather really well. So the Libtech Terrapin, a hidden gem that we've just rediscovered, a really great glider, stroke cruiser, stroke mid-length, that actually turns really sweetly, and it's got that single fin vibe um, to make you really enjoy your surfing. Uh, there it is, online of course right now, 0% interest available, trade in your old boards, and apparently I've got to say, hit that bell thing in the corner of the screen and the red button to subscribe and that bell thing will give you notifications of our new videos. It's all Dutch to me, but there we are. Thanks for watching.